Welcome everyone. Though there's like three hours of like Roll20 Con left, doesn't matter to me. But this will be a very good thing for the stream. Uh, not only that, it's also to reward you guys again for helping us so much. And of course, Trin does not want to be denied the D&D crack and along with some of the peeps. There will be more voice sessions to be great, of course. It, it takes a lot of time and preparation. Um, So, the community has voted that they wanted to see the story behind Titus Blood Scar, how he came to be, and the origins of the Bluffus Company. Or how he became the, the Blood Scar General, like he's going to the Bluffus General. Not only that, it was also votes to, to know the backgrounds of Kosa Shadow Tongue and Admiral Seablade. So, the origin of Titus was the highest vote by Insan. I decided to meld them a bit together. Um, so, there are some things in this game that's going to be really nuts. But, special guest, Osman the first awesome great broski of mine. No, this is after Caleb loses his leg. So during the one month span of time, uh, Caleb and Axon lost a limb each. Caleb a leg, Axon an arm, and our uh, Stormclaw losing his brother, Sayer. Um, there was a lot of pain and sadness to go around. But not only that, the actions of something odd. Uh, Chopa Grog, out of amazement of his own merits, gave up the philo uh, his own Philosopher's Stone, or what may be a Philosopher's Stone, of the Titus Buscar. But after the defeat of the Trotter Beast, he dropped a different kind of stone. An almost a said stone, but a different color, Romevic had in his hands. But the whole party, along with the rest of the Bluffist company, have been alerted. Especially with Chopa Grog and many others. Melody Luminara attempted to steal the stone after the Cholder Beast was defeated. And again, tried to steal the stone once they had boarded the ship. But Chopper Grog, with his great deafness and agility, stopped in time. Also catching the eye of Juza Stormfist. And especially since the form of Melody has been revealed. The Guardian left a little gift for Melody. The illusion is no longer able to be recasted. She is in her full form as a Kaishin. A Vox one. So, through hate, pain, and loss, and honor and dishonor, parts of the Reaper squad have bonded greatly. But some of them have started to become very distant. And here comes the next test. Who is it this time? Yep. Hi, right, ladies and gentlemen. I am a dungeon master for tonight, Mr. Grand Dance Up. Oh, that's me. The Crusade Adventures. The Crusade of Dungeons and Dragons. I. I treat you greatly and let you grow like a flower. I pick you like heroes or villains, both terrible and beautiful to behold. But the things that you do have a cause and effect. Be it good or bad, will you help and protect the weak and the innocent? But at the same time, you'll be serving the strong and the guilty. Journey into the world. Mark, and a land called the name Ladaga. Created by yours truly. Its own realm, its gods, its peoples, nations. All from my hands on a roll of a dice. Along with a roll of a dice, I can also dictate with luck in mind. Now how lucky do you truly feel? 
Can you survive the darkness I've created? And the horrors? Can you journey in there safely and come back out alive? You may do something. Possibly your morality. Possibly your sanity. As a great testament for one's mind. And also the characters made out of which are projections of themselves. This is the crusade. The adventures of the crusade. The Dungeons and Dragons. I look forward to seeing if you do survive. Or perish. But I'm not the only one that should be feared. I will even use you against each other. Now let's see how long Reaper Squad can last once more as they are given a mission by Titus Blood Scar. Which will lead them to a journey to another realm. And time. The players for tonight we have Melly Luminar played by Kishamu, Caleb Lunafang played by Tomatsu Taku, Chobar Gurar played by Mecha King, Axel Striker played by Volvo, Arsenal Gala played by Trin, and Oz Odinson played by Ozman the First. Welcome everyone. Alright, now I'm going to Get a uh, get an invitation thing. So Trent, you need to distribute this link to the players. I am going to put myself in the uh, the D and D department. Shazam! All right. So I'll be waiting for the players to jump into the game. And then here we go. There's something in my background. What's in my background? We're trying to summon Tiny. Tiny is not in here. Uh. Woo, wrong button. Let's see, Trent, did you distribute the link yet? And I give this to pause as well. So hopefully is everyone feeling right or feeling better, about to get better. Much love again, thank you guys for the support and the love. I appreciate it. We do gotta get started in this business. Well, my beard don't go warm, Jesus. <sighs> yeah, Calcep's like Mimos are pretty fucking tits. Yeah, fail. I'm in my underwear right now. There you go. I don't. I don't think I missed anyone, right? What's up, Baku Breaker? Did you miss me? Uh, no, I mean, did you miss me when you were away? Ah, uh, well, uh, that yeah, that's you know couples thing. Yeah, well, let's just get a room, you two. Anywho. Uh, That's a whole lot of hair. Hello. Mm -hmm. 
Check, damn it. Alright, everyone, Alaguchi then. Yep. I'm the good. Alright, I'm gonna give you guys. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, there's Hunter stuff. I'm trying to give you guys your character sheets so you guys can know. Because, you know, names and everything. I'm sorry, how could this happen to me? Let's see. I hung my head. I hung my head. <laughs> yes, yes, they do, Kelly. This called out much quieter than you. Yeah, there you go. That's what happens. Yeah. I did a thing! You did a thing, you said. Interesting. Does need to settle the one last sheet. Gonna give it Oz Tat Fat his stuff. <laughs> tat Fat. Tat Fat. Oh, how are you guys doing today? What's up? Been alright. Alright. Feels good, man. Feels good to be back home. Young mini. I'm gonna be dying on the inside tomorrow, but it's worth it. Alright. So. Bzz, I'm gonna play this. So, what happened in the month is. So, Axe and Kayla managed to fully heal with their new mechanical limbs. For Caleb's leg, he still maintains his stealthiness. As for Axon, well. He still has a advantage on stealth, but, you know, it's bulky enough to handle his armor and the rest of his weight. And as for Ire, within that month, he tried to gain absolution and also trying to find a direction of life by communing with the gods. Let's see. I'll roll one more and see if there's a difference. Okay, so there's a difference. So, Iris Stoneclaw, you managed to find some absolution and communion with the goddess Sithranta. But she will commune with you every now and then. But in times when you try to call for her, she is silent. Probably busy with something. But there has been a gift of sorts. You were given an egg, but it appeared somewhere out of nowhere. And right but apparently you were in a hazy dream and you journeyed into the caverns around Salarino to meditate. Amongst your journey in absolution and praying to nature and Sithrantha, the goddess of nature, magic, and fertility and love, you managed to find an egg of sorts, but you don't know what it is. But for a while, under the careful eye of it, it looks like it may hatch soon. You kept it incubated within your quarters. No one has noticed. But it's in your barracks toolbox, that's for sure. But the egg is pretty huge. It looks like it got bigger, like a head. So this thing is not exactly normal. Um, does anyone wish... Nope. Uh, and you? You have been summoned by Titus Buscar. Do you, do you all go by chance? Yep. I go. Alright. I go. Yep. Alright, so you guys go into Titus Buscar's office. Yes. He's still in the same armor. Hasn't taken it off. You don't even know if he ever takes it off. You don't even know what he looks like. But, Vizzy Underfoot's nearby, a very small halfling. The broker is barely seen, but at times he comes and whispers and gives you guys assignments. Both him and Titus exchange a few words before he looks up. Vizzy makes his way, and he basically pats Caleb on the leg, tink tink, and he goes to accent, tink tink.